good morning. Um, today we're going to look at a cross currency. Now, the dollar majors, there's not anything really in the way of a good intraday setup, uh, but we have seen some broad euro buying uh, across currency crosses, um, and we believe that euro sterling is offering quite a good setup today. So we're going to break down the time frames. The first time frame is the weekly chart. Here we can see that we're in what we believe to be in a, a large ABCD formation to the downside. However, we have consolidated uh, for 10 weeks mixed volatile trading on the weekly chart. Uh, the daily chart highlights a morning doji star uh, from the beginning of November. And although we've sort of rejected levels uh, close to the daily Ishimoku cloud, and we've seen a, a, a correction to the downside, there's nothing really to say that this move, this corrective move higher is coming to an end. Now, the six hour chart highlights a breakout of an expanding wedge formation to the upside. That has a measured move target of 90.24, and we've missed that, um, that target level. Reverse trend line support is seen at 88.35, and we expect that to, uh, to hold any downward selling uh, in this cross currency. Now, if we break to the hourly chart, here we can see that we've possibly uh, formed an ending wedge formation. We need to break 8890 uh, to confirm that, and then there's a measured move at 8950. So there's two levels uh, that we'd look to buy at in Euro Sterling today. We're either going to buy a dip to 8835, which is that reverse trend line support, or we're going to buy a break of this wedge formation at 8890. Uh, the stop on either of these trades can be placed at 40 pips from entry. The first target is 89.50, uh, which is this wedge target. A break there and the medium term target we're looking for is 90.80, uh, which is just in front of this 61.8% pullback level.